This is not about the books. This is not about the explanations. Because people who are caught up in explanations, and I know this, are on one hand pulling thorns out of their foot, on the other hand, they're sowing them. Those people who were caught up in the explanations, they're going to need more explanations. Am I wrong? You think all the explanations that were written 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 2000 years ago would have been sufficient? You think they're sufficient? People are still writing them. People are still interpreting them. People are still trying to figure out what was really said. And do you think it's going to stop? Do you think it's going to stop anytime soon? No. People will go on explaining to you, to you, what that really means when the word was used. And you? You? You want nothing better than a pre-digested package. Feed it to me. Feed it to me. Give it to me. You know, this is how most people are. They buy something new. I know there's a lot of people who are going to buy the new iPhone. But they'll never read the manual. And for years they're going to go around with this iPhone till they find somebody else who has an iPhone who has read the manual. And they will go, how do you do it? Now the manual is available to everyone. But people will not read the manual. Just show me how you do it. This is what happened one time. I was on this airplane and the airplane had been sold. And I had been flying that airplane quite a bit. And so I went in the cockpit just, you know, just to make sure that the pilots were comfortable. Then any switch they didn't understand. I could. So I went there and I, both the captain was sitting here, co-pilot was sitting here. I went behind them and I said, can I help you with anything? Are you, are you okay? And they said, oh yes, yes, we're fine. I said, you know, I used to fly this if, there, if you have any questions. And I could see them both struggling with the FMS, the navigation unit. They were both struggling with it because they didn't know anything about it. I said, can I help you with that? They go, what do you know about it? I said, I know any, anything you want to know, I can tell you. <laughs> They said, okay, you have 30 seconds. That's what they said to me. You have 30 seconds. No pro I had no problem with that. I started explaining to them. And 30 seconds later, I stopped. And it just so happened that in the 29th second, it was getting juicy. It was getting to what they wanted to know because they had to take the airplane from where it was to an airport not too far away but they wanted to know how to operate this thing. I stopped. Five seconds went by, ten seconds went by and they both turned and looked at me like what? And I said, uh, whoa, thirty seconds are up. <laughs> they were like, oh God. <laughs> they said, oh, please go on. I said, are you sure? <laughs> I said, look, let me tell you what, what you need to know to get this thing from here to there comfortably. So I told them, you know, what, what you're used to, because what I was flying then, I knew what the differences were in the two. And I said, what you're used to is flight plan. On this one, it's called NAV. 
So whatever you want to do in the flight plan, just push the key nav. It'll do it. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. You know. But this is what happens. Everybody wants that pre-digested package. Just explain to me how everything happens. Whoever can explain to you this of how everything happens is not telling the truth. Because it cannot be explained. We forget. We forget our very humanness, that we are a human being. But so many have come before us. We are tantalized by technology. Oh, it's different now, isn't it? Is it? Is it? I saw this woman on, on, on TV, on news, crying. But she was watching pictures of her house burned down in Nevada. And I'm like, but you know, you're watching this probably on a high resolution monitor and the, this is being shot in a high resolution you know format and, 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 and this is all satellite linked does it make any difference? does it? what has all this technology got to do with it? your humanness has nothing to do with it your sorrow, your joy will not be affected by all of this this was dubbed long time ago. There was a word given to this called the grand illusion, called Maya. Grand illusion. People still don't understand why was all this, why is all this, how could this be an illusion? People make jokes about it. how can this be an illusion? Because. Not because. It is an illusion, but like an illusion, it is here today, gone tomorrow. It disappears. The sleight of hand, and what seemed to be forever, is gone. And where? No one knows. People go and they watch the magician take a little bunny rabbit and make him disappear and everybody goes. Right in front of your eyes, a day is gone. The biggest magician creates his grand effects. The day is gone. A life is gone. And nobody applauds of how wonderful that little illusion was.